wanted to change the foot oil in this, I recommend that you wash this with some soap and water and then rinse it with water and let it dry. That keeps any dirt and grit and sand from getting into this foot unit and ruining it. That's very important. Second, you have a screw here and a screw here. You're first gonna unbolt the screw down here. Then and only then do you unbolt this one. If you unscrew this one first, this will allow, uh, create a vacuum. And so it won't just go all plopping out on you like you do when you change your car. Remember, use the bottom, get the bottom one done first. Take it out. So you won't hardly have any drips. Set this guy aside so you know you won't lose it. And then, there we go. Shoe start. See? See the difference? Be careful of this. There's a uh, gasket here. And there may be one here. I just don't remember. I let this drip a good long time. The book says every six months. I just do it every six months, man. I don't care if it needed or not. And that oil looks really good. It's not milky white. That's another thing you want to look for. If the oil is milky white, you might have a leak. You need to take it on in and let them look at it. This is looking good, looks as clear as honey. This is just, just as good as the oil, just looks just as good as when I put it in there. You're gonna pay $3,000 for a motor, you better take care of it. I bet that's Nick Saban flying now. Nick Saban on the road. <laughs> Nick Saban. I use the official Tohatsu oil. Uh, it's been, it, it's worked well, so no need to change it now. I have a little bit left over from last time. I forget exactly how much oil it does, but you see this, you, you see the old school way, you'd put it in there and try to squeeze it in there, but that's not going to work because gravity is going to always be pulling it back out. Go to Harbor Freight or Walmart, they have, I got this one from Walmart, I believe, and get you one of these. It's a pump and a plug. You put this plug in here. Oh, come on now. Oh, there is that filter. There is that filter. Yeah, I was right. There is a uh, there is a gasket on the bottom. So be careful. Probably, probably should buy some new ones next time I'm in Huntsville if the fella has any. Now some, there may be a couple of different adapters depending on your motor. They usually comes with an adapter for a Tohatsu or a Yamaha or, a, or, a, or a whatever. Screw it in there and there you go. And all you got to do is pump. Crack it open. Put your screw that on the top. Okay. And then you just start pumping. This will ensure that no air bubbles get into that. If you start feeling air bubbles, just tilt it to the side like that and keep pumping. There we go. You saw how it came out? See how it's coming out the top there? And you kind of keep pumping it every couple of times. And then once you do that, One more good extra kind of pump, and then put that top in there. Just hand tighten it. 
for now and set this bad boy down and now you gotta kinda the tricky part you're trying to take this bad boy out and then put this one in the best way to do it is to put that bolt back that screw back in the top to create that vacuum as long as you can create that vacuum you don't have to worry about anything all right and then you just start unscrewing this there we go see how it yeah. oh, come on now come on come on come on come on now be kind of quick with it but don't cross thread it take your time but don't cross thread it whatever left over in this tube just uh drip it back off here in the bottle that's your best bet. You can say, well, hey, why can't you just put in the bottom plug and fill it from the top down? Air bubbles, fellas. Air bubbles. Air bubbles, air pockets can get down in there. And then you'll be in a world of hurt when uh, huh, you really don't have the requisite amount of oil in there. You think you've got enough oil and you don't. If you go from the bottom up, there's no air bubbles and you filled exactly the amount of oil it needs to be. And you put the top in for the vacuum and you don't have to worry about it. That's the easiest way I have found to change the oil in the foot of these little of these Tohatsu motors. Now be sure to come back and put a tightening on these bolts here, these screws here, these plugs here. Just put a tightening on it. Put a tightening on it because you don't want to forget and leave these loose and then they come out because of vibration when you're running out there on the river. You don't want that.